Welcome back to the second OpenCV tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the transformations that are possible using OpenCV. One of the nice things about it is the high level of abstraction that can be used for performing these transformations. Um, just to start out, I've created a new file called tutorial2.cpp. And for this set of code, we're going to need a new library. So I'm going to type in here pound include OpenCV backslash, and it's a cvaux or cvaux.h. So I can basically use the image that I've already captured here and we'll transform it in a few different ways. The first thing we're going to do is start out with a gray image. Uh, I guess I should declare a few more variables. Um, we'll call one a matrix called gray image. Another one called HSV image. And another called threshold image. So for this first one, basically we're going to call CVT color And then you can see in uh, Visual Studio will bring up in the IntelliSense here as soon as you uh, type in the first paren. It's looking for an input matrix and an output matrix and then some type of transform. So for the input, we'll give it the my image. For the output, gray image. And then the transformation, we're going to use CV underscore RGB to gray all in caps. And I'll do another I am show. Call it uh, gray gray window and then pass in the variable gray image. Now I can go ahead and run this. Notice that I already have a wait key in my loop here so just the one is fine for this. I'll hit the debug or the run button up above. And as you can imagine, it basically creates a second image with a gray version of me. Uh, it's a gray scale image, it's not black and white. So there are multiple shades of gray here. So let's stop that one from running. And set up our second one here, CVT color. And we'll do the same thing here, we'll type in my image comma, this time, uh, HSV image. And then for this one, we're going to use a uh, color underscore BGR to HSV. And what uh, HSV is, is basically a high contrast version of the image. So I'll do I am show HSV image. Pass in the variable for the matrix. I'm going to comment out this one in the middle so that we only show the regular image and this new HSV image. And I'll hit run for that one. And here's what the high contrast version looks like. And this is going to be really useful for going through and putting together a threshold image which is the next thing that I'll show. So for this one we're going to use uh, in range. Um, the input we're going to use our HSV image because that's the one with the high contrast that it will be able to easily uh, see differences when it does the filtering. Now we're going to pass in two uh, sets of numbers the lower bounds for H, S, and V, and the higher bounds for H, S, and V. Uh, so they, want, they need to be scalars. So for H, let's say 10, for the S value of 20, and the V pass in 30. And then for the upper bounds, let's go 110, one, 
115 and 130 or 140 let's say and then my output will be uh, threshold image we'll do another I am show threshold pass in the variable I'll also comment out the second one here so that again we're only showing the first image and the new one that we just created and I'll hit run for that and now you can see basically it's going through and it's mapping out either a white or a black a binary 0 or a 1 for each of the bits that are fit within the filter set that we just specified. So later on we'll show how you can actually go through and make it a little more intelligent so you can sweep through the variables using uh, trackbar. But that's it for this tutorial.